first thing that we want to talk about before we really get into structs is type def. And what type def does is simply just allows us to give a new name to an existing type. And so what does that actually look like in code? The syntax is we say type def. Usually this is what it'll look like is we say type def and then we say the old type name and then the new name and a semicolon like that. Um, and so this is if we're just wanted to do a simple type def. Um, it also gets more complicated. In general, you pretend that new name is being declared as an object of the old type. That's kind of the way that the syntax works for more complicated things like arrays. And then all this does is, is really create an alias for that name in your C program that allows us to use this new name anywhere where we would have used the old type name. So let's look at an example with this. Uh, I want to look at this Yahtzee program that we wrote before and just think about a couple things. So one type def that we've seen before is uh, how to have uh, like a, a C string type type dev. So here's a character array of length 128 to hold a name. We could make this be whatever we want. Like maybe we want names to be 50 characters long. Okay. So this this program works. It's not using any type defs. If I wanted to have a type def for that um, like C string, then you know this well. We say type def, and then we pretend that we're declaring this thing so we say char and then i put my new type name um so name type and then the length like this so it's i'm really just using this as if i'm declaring a variable of that type and then now instead of saying char name 50 i could say name type name so now name type is a type like int or bool or something. It's not going to be highlighted by my editor because it's not one of the built-in types. It's a type that I made up. But I can use it now anywhere where I would have used a character array. And so this compiles um, no problem. Okay, I just want to point out briefly that if I said something like this, what would this create? It wouldn't say that now I have a type for C strings of length 10. It would actually make an array of 10 name types, which is really 10 strings in this case. Um, so when we, once we have a type, then we don't use that other syntax like a square brackets anymore or something. It's, it's just that one. Okay, so that's one example of a type def. We can also have simpler type def. So we usually don't want to do something like this, but if I wanted to uh, maybe a dice roll, is going to be an int, but I want to kind of remember that it could be something else. Um, I could I could do this. So this makes a new type name die that's just going to be an int underneath. But then I could change my functions to like use this type. So I can have this function return a die instead of an int. It's really just still returning an int. I'm just using a different name for that thing. Um, and then here, this would make an array of size fives that contains five dice rolls. And um, then I guess here, I would probably want to change this as well. And so this will totally work. Um, no problem at all. I want to emphasize that this is really just making an alias. So if I start to mix things up, it gets more confusing in my program. If I were to like write int here, even though I had die as the prototype at the top, and uh, there won't be any complaint by that by the compiler. So even though I used int down here and up here, I used uh, I used die in the prototype. The compiler just really treats int and die as the same exact thing, so it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Um, we can also have type deaths for pointer types. That happens sometimes. Um, like, in fact, a type def that showed up in ic210.h, if you remember, 
at the beginning of the class, we used this stream before we knew about file stars. And the way that that would work is we would say type def file um, star stream. So this now has stream is an alias for the file star type. And that was in IC210. You can you can go look it up if you don't believe me. So now we could use stream in the place of file star. That's all that type def is, it's just giving aliases in our programs. And it happens to be really useful in the context of structs, so we'll see this come up a couple times.